this is a, this is a, a simple demonstration of a wind generator where I'm making wind by a fan that I turn with a crank. The wind blows against a fan that's connected to a generator, and the generator happens to have a little light bulb built into it, and also wires that connect to a voltmeter so I can see how much voltage I'm making when I turn the, the crank. Now, you notice I have to have a certain amount of wind before anything happens. If I just go like that, nothing much happens. I gotta go faster and faster and faster. Finally, I get enough to make some, enough wind to do it. And the limitation on wind generator farms is if they call it, the wind is too strong, the blades can't stand it. And so even as in the case of an airplane, they have to feather the blades so that they can reduce the force on the blades. Okay, demonstrating induction. That many, many years ago, Maxwell was doing his work in the middle of the 18th century. If you move a metal next to a conductor, which happens to be a copper pipe, nothing much happens. But if I move a magnet next to a copper pipe, where did that magnet go? It took a long time. It's because as the magnet was falling as a, as a, a, due to the force of gravity, it was generating electricity in the, in the copper pipe all the way along. Now that's all right. What we have is a at the dome when she have re reduced the pressure so that the distance between the electron, the molecules in the air is longer, called a mean free path. And so we put electric field from a high voltage generator that's in the base of the unit on that little knob inside. And the electric field accelerates those molecules until they bang into each other and get into an excited state. And then they as the excited state collapses back down to the base state, it generates light. And in all cases, the, elect the charge is wants to go back to the Earth. That's why it goes to the dome, which is the Earth. Or if I put my finger on it, it goes to my finger per preferentially because I'm a better conductor to the Earth. And if I move my finger around, I can make that path change. The voltage on that little knob there is about 28,000 volts. It's actually a low current generator of the type that was once used to light up the screen on a television cathode ray tube. 